Welcome back to Houston Life. Did you know Houston has the largest Muslim community in Texas and the southern U.S.? And right now, this is a joyous time for Muslims because after a month of fasting and reflection, it's the end of Ramadan. That's known as Eid al-Fitr. That's and right. it's a wonderful time to celebrate. Absolutely. As families and friends come together to celebrate, our friends at Asia, Asia Society of Texas are hosting a free Eid festival, and everybody is invited. Here with details on all the activities in store are Jennifer Caprol with Asia Society Texas and Shaheen Rahman, president of the Islam. Islamic Art Society. Jennifer, for those who are unfamiliar with the holiday, can you give us a little bit of an of a understanding on what, what is being celebrated? Sure, absolutely. So Eid Mubarak to everyone who celebrates, or Happy Eid. Um, so Eid marks the end of the holy month of Ramadan. Uh, it's a time for joy, um, for festivities, for peace. And a lot of people celebrate by gathering with friends, with family, um, eating sweet treats, having delicious meals. And overall, it's just a very festive, warm uh, celebration um, to celebrate the end of Ramadan. That sounds so amazing. And this festival, there's going to be art, there's going to be music, and a lot, a lot of joyous occasions. But we have something set up right now. What are we looking at art-wise here? So this is known as ebru, which is an um, ancient uh, Turkish technique of paper marbling. Okay. And where paints are dropped on the surface of water, and then you can make different intricate designs on it. And what does it symbolize? So um, uh, this is an Islamic art that dates back to the 15th century. Okay. And it was very popular um, in the Ottoman courts and also for writing calligraphy, for writing poetry, and it was used to decorate books. And here at the Islamic Art Society, this is just one of the art forms that we share with the broader public um, while we celebrate the rich heritage of Islamic art. Jennifer, this is one of the activities at the festival. Can you give us a couple more details about it? Yes, absolutely. So uh, outside we have a street festival kind of vibe going on. So we have food trucks, um, lots of food vendors, um, activities, um, all kinds of things to do outside performances, music, dance. Um, and then inside, due to our partnership with Islamic Art Society, we have beautiful calligraphy demonstrations. Um, we will have Ebru, so you can try your hand at this if you really enjoy it today. And it's a free event for the public. Free event. All ages, all are welcome. Um, I bring my kids every year. It's a fun, wonderful uh, spring celebration. Okay, so let's talk about what we are doing right now. I love that the colors are actually just sitting on top of the water so as beautiful. you're knocking them in. So beautiful, yeah. Why are they staying there? Is it so it's not all just water, or how is it? So the the liquid that you see is thickened water. I see. Yeah, and that helps the paints to stay on top and to float. Uh, it's all about surface tension, and there's a little bit of chemistry involved in it too. <laughs> so when we drop the paints. They um, have just the right amount of paint and surfactant so they so that they can stay on top. Now, Shaheen, normally this takes the whole process is a little bit lengthier than just our segment time, right? Normally, how long would this take you? Yeah, so uh, the preparation takes um, half a day. Wow. Half a day? Uh, yes, and act making the actual piece is is fairly quick. It can take five to 10 minutes, depending on um, what type of pattern you're doing. You can do something simple or you can uh, do something a lot more. Can we just hold this up? Because yeah, this is so beautiful. beautiful. I want our beautiful. viewers to check this out. I mean, that is magnificent how it just collects all of those colors so brightly in the water like And you that. know kids, they love to get their hands. I mean, they love to touch. They want to interact. <laughs> they right. want to play with all the things. So imagine <laughs> being a kid, you can try, you can go to the festival and then you can just try it. Okay. And I promise if I can do it, your kid can okay. well, do it. Okay, be before we yeah, do that. Yeah, what am I doing? I'm just about to that. dip? What am so, I doing? Uh, so you can keep the pattern very simple. This okay. is a very basic marbled pattern. Beautiful. Or you can manipulate the, the paints and you can make some more designs. So I'm just gonna, uh, let you go on the town uh, on this and oh, you careful, can, careful. <laughs> okay. and you can just drag the stylus through okay. the through the liquid and, and make your very, very own art piece okay, okay. I'll do it here All I go right, let's see what Tessa I'm gonna on. well you can, I'm, I'm yes, scared there we go <laughs> I'll go Beautiful. I'll go a snake oh that, that is really so pretty. gorgeous and it really changes it the, the other entire way. painting so oh, much here. when you just you're natural. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like this is the prettiest thing I've ever created personally. So yeah, my my paintings don't look like this. Okay, so okay. Um, now we're ready to capture it on a piece of paper. So I can help you place the paper on okay, it. Okay, yeah. yes. Please. So this is just going straight on top of it. 
on top of the paint. Moment of truth, okay? <laughs> I think it's gonna be great. <laughs> oh, and the it's big already, reveal. It's so beautiful. Let's see how Tess did. And then she just dragged it. Okay, the okay, off. okay. Oh, wow! I'm an artist. <gasps> auctioning for $5,000 right here. <laughs> that looks gorgeous. <laughs> All right, Jennifer, just really quickly, let's recap some of the details. This is for next weekend, correct? Yes. And yes. this is going to be happening where? Uh, at Asia Society Texas Center in the Museum District. And what are the times that people can go and hang out? It's 4 to 8 p.m. Okay, we're looking on the screen right now. Yes, there we and go. it's, again, free, open to everyone. All are welcome. Uh, we, we'd love to see as many folks there as possible. What's so. one of your, uh, what, Shaheen, what's one of your favorite things to celebrate at this festival each year? Just being together with family and friends and doing art. And, you know, this is so near and dear to the uh, cause of Islamic Art Society, you know, to get people excited, for people to come together over art and just celebrate. Well, we're, so, we're so lucky that it's not only a festival that celebrates the culture, but it's free. So there's mm -hmm. no excuse to register. And for all the information on the Eid Festival, you can visit the Scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.com. And I heard there's going to be henna there. Yes. So that's <laughs> another bonus. Uh, happy Eid uh, to all that are celebrating. Yes, ladies, thank you so much. That was great. Really it's amazing. Pleasure. All right.